Hello and welcome back. So this is a nice little short video. Now, I'm doing something different today. We're not doing Jaguar, we're not doing Ford Ranger, we're not doing anything with an engine on it. We're gonna actually restore a garden bench. Now I've done this uh, a couple of times and some people quite like the video. So I haven't made one for over a year. So I thought I'd make another one now. So let me show you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So basically I still buy bits for eBay. I buy things, fix them up and sell them. And basically I saw this bench on eBay for a tenner near my house. Now this is actually plastic, because this, uh, it's got cast iron ends. You see all that? But it's actually a, a modern reproduction of an old bench. So, so these are the proper old ones. Um, though that one's actually not that old. <laughs> but this one's a bit newer. But this is the sort of thing that you would have bought out of probably Lidl, <laughs> or B&M, maybe 10 years ago. So, if you, I've only paid literally a tenner for it, so we're actually going to paint it. Now, I normally would do a bench black, or even a green. We're going to do this one blue, right? I've never done a bench blue, so it looked like something from the seafront when I've done it. And I'm going to do it a nice antique pine sort of colour on the wood when I've rubbed it down. So, yeah, it looked like a bench from the seaside. Um, but we'll see. So, by the way, I have got another trailer now. Me and trailers, I have more than the lorry firm I work with, I think. So actually I've sold the one you saw in the last video and I've bought another one for £85 and I've, yeah, look how good that looks. So actually I've got a bargain with this bench, I paid a tenner for it, went round there and they had this rotavator and the guy can't get it to work. Now the guy didn't really have a clue what he was on about and I said to him, well, to get, a, if it's not sparking, you've got to take the coil out, you know, clean it all and the points and things and it'll go and he goes, uh, well, I'll tell you what, mate, as you're having that bench, do you want this? So he just give me this. So I, I said, I'll tell you, I'll give you a fiver for it. So I give him a fiver and he give me this and all. So like that. Because he was just going to scrap it anyway. Because he couldn't get it to go. So a fiver for a Westwood. I don't think that's bad for five pounds, but it doesn't run. But we're going to have a look at that. But I probably won't do a video on this. We might do, but I doubt it. I doubt we'll do a video on that. Um, but we're going to do a video on the bench. Because uh, a lot of people like restoring things like this, so I think a lot of people are quite interested. So, uh, yeah, the first thing we've got to do is take it all apart. So, this is just plastic. It's, it, this is literally going to be quite easy to take apart, to be honest. Um, and I'm just going to rub it down and paint it. But like I said, we're going to do it in a nice, bright blue on the bit, so it's going to look like it's from Skegness. If you've been to Skegness, you'll know what I mean. So, that's the bench in pieces. The woods are right actually, it just wants really good sanding down. It's gone a bit, let's just see it. It's weathered. Um, they want to like rub down. To be fair, this won't really want much rubbing down. Look, it's not it's not bad, you see. Someone's tried to make it look old. That's how well I imagine it was like that when it was new, but it just wants a light rubbing over, really. Um, yeah, so it's not too bad. So this is the paint we're gonna go for. Now, smooth blue. Now, if you watched my uh, video, you might have seen a blue trailer. This is the paint left over from it. Um, so, uh, yeah, we're going to use that up. And the wood, we've got some saddle in antique pine. Yeah, this is good paint, but expensive. Um, so, yeah, I wouldn't normally do it in black, to be honest. I do nearly every bench in black, but... If it was Victorian and it was a really nice old bench, uh, I would do it in black. I'd actually spray it so it was a nice smooth finish to it. But um, it's not worth it. I mean, it's only a modern reproduction bench. So I think we're going to go a bit crazy with it and we're going to go blue. Um, might as well give it a go, see what it comes out like. It might look quite good blue, but I reckon I'm going to give it that seaside look. The sort of bench you get that looks out over the ocean. So let's, uh, let's see. So I've put one coat on there. I don't know how that's going to turn out, by the way. I've never painted this type of paint on plastic. So this could go horribly wrong yet, but it looks right at the minute. Uh, there's one with one coat of paint. It's going to need two coats to cover it. Um, I don't think it looks too bad in blue, especially if you imagine the wood's going to be sort of similar colour to this when it's uh, painted. It might look nice, actually. So I've already wire brushed it now, and now I'm just going to paint this one. So I've already had the wire brush on it. I really need to tidy up my garage. I'm, I'm <laughs> it's uh, right. 
Let me get this one painted and I'll come back to you. But uh, yeah, I really need to tidy my garage. It's getting a bit uh, ridiculous, shall we say. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get it done. So that's all the paint pieces painted blue, but they have to have another coat. We've got to leave it yet. Yeah? I've just sanded one down. That's not too bad, so we're going to stain it now. So they're the ones that are not done yet. You can see the state of them, can't you? Um, so yeah, let's get the saddling out and do one, see what it comes out like. So as you can see, the colour's really nice. This is one that's partially dry. This one I've just literally done. But I think the colour is really nice, that, uh, that saddling. They do a Jacobean walnut, which is like a dark brown, which is quite a nice colour, but I think this one's the best. So everything's painted. Um, just waiting now for everything to dry, and then we'll put it back together again. Good. So another thing I've done is painted all the tops. <laughs> And then I'll paint the nuts and that when it's uh, all tightened back together again so it looks nice and neat underneath. So yeah, I think they've come out well. I don't think it'll look too bad in blue. So uh, yeah, let me uh, let it dry and then I'll come back to you when I start putting it back together again. So I got a little bit bored waiting for the bench to dry. Um, so I thought I'd mess about with the uh, rotavator that I got for a fiver. Uh, literally clean the points, give it one pull and it went, so it was unbelievable. Uh, so if you want to see the road, I've done a rotavator on here before and you see where how I did the points, it's all exactly the same. So if you go back to one of the other videos, you can see how you take the flywheel off and all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, so look at this, here it is running. So it's now half three. This stuff here is still a little tacky. Now this is gonna be tacky, hang on. Oh, I don't know, it's not that bad. Um, I might have a go at putting a bit of it together. Yeah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's be very careful and not uh, ruin it. So as you can see, the bench is starting to take shape. So that's it finished. I think it looks all right in blue. It looks like it's from Skegness Pier. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's it for this video. Uh, I think we've done quite well. In one day, I managed to get the bench done. Uh, the rotavator is running, just needs the exhaust, which is, oh, excuse me, that is on his way from eBay. And the trailer's done. So these are actually all on eBay. And then we'll have a look for some more bits and bobs to do. Uh, I still need to start on the little villiers. I still haven't done that yet. I know I'm going to get there eventually. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you all very soon with a new video.